Hello, I'm Rob. And I'm Chris. And today we're going to teach you how to make lamb kleftika. Why is that light shining in the background? Should I get rid of that? Yeah. I'm Rob. <laughs> I'm Chris. And today we're going to teach you how to make lamb kleftika without a light. What we're going to need for this dish are um, this is going to serve two. So, two medium potatoes, a large onion, a couple of tomatoes, we've got plum tomatoes here. Um, I'm using a lamb stock cube, if you've got fresh stock all the well, but you know, this is the idea of this is that anybody can do it and find the ingredients easily. A um, couple of garlic cloves, we've already skinned them. Two I lamb skinned them. Chris skinned them. Two lamb shanks, some dried oregano, some bay leaves, salt and pepper, a glass of wine, feta cheese, and um, it also has a pinch of ground cinnamon. You don't have to touch everything when, uh, when yeah, you say I, it. I think it just kind of... Stop touching it. Put the cheese into little bits like that. That's actually a bit big. Now I'm going to chop the garlic in half. into bits about that big. And then I'm going to put some holes in, a, in this lamb. One there. I wouldn't advise holding it like that. One there. Put garlic in one of them. Put cheese in the other one. Make sure it gets in. And these ones. Maybe a little bit deeper. Another garlic. And maybe the last hole. really good. <laughs> Got both pieces of lamb done. He's already cut these holes. Yeah. He's not under the pressure of the camera. No. We're going to liberally put some oregano on them and turn them over both sides. Your hands in the way. Sorry. Fat and, hands. And then what we're going to do is, is quarter the potatoes. And we're going to leave them in big pieces like that. So they're nice thick slices for your tomato. Where's and the then, zoom? And then the same with the onion. Nice big onion rings. So I'm going to line the pot with some foil like this. Try to make sure it doesn't break in the bottom. Then to the bottom of that we're going to add one, two, three and a half bay leaves. I'm going to put my lamb in like so. I'm going to put my potatoes around my lamb. Like this, and then a few couple more bay leaves on top of that. I'm going to break my onions up into rings, and them and my tomatoes. I'm just going to sprinkle over the top of that lamb and potatoes. Then I'm going to salt and pepper it. Lots of salt. You can't see my face, I don't know why I'm talking to you there. Lots of salt. Personally for myself, even more pepper. Oh yeah. A bit of cinnamon. It's a tiny pinch. Alright, who's doing this? Me or you? <laughs> and then we're going to add a mug of stock. Now this is literally just a lamb stock cube and boiling water mixed up. You can make your stock however you want. Glass of wine. <laughs> Cover it up. And then that's going to go in the oven for an hour and a half on a medium heat. Yeah, there we go. So, we'll just have to 
watch that. So that's going to take what? See you in an hour and a half. We're just going to check it now. Oh, that's hot. Should we use gloves? Oven proof gloves. That are actually gloves. Samson. Always helping. What do we think about that? It's starting to look nice, yeah? So we're going to do that now and turn the heat up a bit and then give it another good hour or so. Probably. I reckon an hour and a half. Yeah. What's the meat like? It's nowhere near what we want it, but yeah. it will be. Yeah. Lovely. Top back on. Oh, back in we go. See you now, we're off. Hello. Looking good. Looking very good. That's going to fall off the bone. That's beautiful. In fact, that's already fallen off a bit. Fantastic. Well, hey, let's serve up. So then you can thicken your juices if you want to. We're on diet, so we're not, but you can just use some corn flour and water and then bring it up to the boil. Otherwise, just pour some of the juices. And there you have it. Long left to come. Soak that up with some nice crusty bread or... <laughs> yeah. And that just does that. Look, falls off the bone. Absolutely amazing. Beautiful and still a little bit pink, but that's soft. Say bye, Rob. Bye. Bye, Chris. Bye, Chris.